So, seven guitars. Panning the guitars opposite each other and putting a reverb opposite each one. I love this effect, so I'll put a guitar over here and then put its reverb on the other side. You've heard me talk about it before, but I'm going to show you one more time. Okay, so the guitar is panned away to the left, some totally trashy guitar sound. And I'm going to take the reverb you see here is panned to the right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a mono reverb. And this is just a good old fashioned, comes free with your DAW reverb. We'll go about a second. Um, we'll go room, one second, medium, eh, three quarters of a second. Here we go. Now that is going to be panned to the right. So now we have the left hand guitar on the left and the reverb on the right. Now if I copy that reverb down, if we go to a right hand guitar and send it to a reverb down here, which is panned to the left, we'll get the opposite effect. So now we have this right hand guitar with its reverb on the left. Create space. It's not a washer verb. One of the things I don't like about stereo reverbs is it just sort of muddies the area. So I've got one guitar here, it's reverb opposite. The other guitar here, it's reverb over here. I do it all the time. You see me talk about it. I hear a lot of people now are using it and telling me they do it as well. It's a really, really smart, simple way of creating space and not creating clutter in your mix.